Alrighty, so in this video, I'm pretty much going to show you what I keep in my backpacks. Uh, mainly, I just kind of use my car as my huge backpack and just chuck everything inside of my car that I have. But if I do happen to go out in a boat or if I do use my tube or anything like that, I kind of break everything down from my backpacks into smaller boxes. So pretty much I'm going to show you what I kept in it. Now here, this big old box of stuff you see. These are all my plastics, or not my plastics, my terminal tackle, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you exactly what I have in here. First box is what you've already seen. All my plastics. Why do I keep on saying plastics? I don't mean plastics. All my frogs. All my top waters. Kind of swim baits, but not really my swim baits. Next box. D10 fishing on top. I don't know why, I just got a whole bunch of stickers and I love stickers. Crank, or uh, lipless crankbait box. Uh, cotton cordell, baby bass. Mini cordell. These are like, I don't know, natural shad colored, but they work really well in the area I go because they're smaller bass. Same thing, chartreuse, or uh, shad. This one, natural shad color. Has the red eyes on them, which I really like. Kind of work well. Another one, just the bigger size of it, with the two out hooks. Knocked both the eyes off, so I just used fingernail polish. Good to have it all around the house. Uh, BPS, um, XPS, rattle traps. I don't know. I've caught a couple fish off of them, but as you can see, they kind of wear away easy. Um, fingernail clippers. Uh, same thing. BPS crankbaits. Always lipless whenever I use these kinds, these colors. Same thing. Cotton Cordell, just silver spotted. Silver spot. Can't really go wrong with these. These are original. These are work way well. Crawdad color. I use this during winter and I kind of pop it along the bottom. I don't really know. I can just kind of chip myself out like thinking it works. Fire Tiger. Darker waters. Throw it in there. It'll work. Another chartreuse chad colored cotton cordell. Uh, Rapala. Yeah, Rapala, Rapala, whatever the heck you want to call them. I don't really care, but they're little live shads. I guess they work. I haven't really caught a fish any off of them. So. Go, throw that over there. Uh, let's talk hoof up, or hook up. Pretty much just sticker I got randomly. These are all my jigs. This finesse jigs. Awesome looking. I mean, just look at the color on that thing. You can even see it. This sparkly and awesome looking. Just same jigs. Sparkly. Blue. Blue and black jigs. I got a, I like the color blue and black. I kind of got in the color. Scroungers. Full entire jigs. Purple. Ooh. Another random jig. A small one. BPS. BPS uh, enticer jigs. Really good. They work really well. And they're really cheap compared to what they give. But they're gamakatsus. Those are my jigs. I have my trailers later. I'll show you guys them. Just kind of doing a walkthrough. Uh, this is my spinnerbait box. Uh, I'll go my favorites, I guess. It's kind of my large spinnerbait. I kind of use this during summer when they're biting a lot. And I know they're on a bite. Kind of later on in the day. Buzzbait. Kind of, I don't really use buzzbaits a lot. Min, and mainly when I do, they have a little clacker, but. Just that one. Same thing, another little crappy. The spinnerbait. Stuck with another one. This one I kind of like because it has the treble hook up at the top. Whatever. Blue and black. Spinnerbait on the bottom there. More customizable spinner baits, small ones, winter wonders. Good during winter, run them along the bottom. It's kind of my go-to spinner bait whenever I use spinner baits though. It's right here, the Strike King spinner bait has the dual and it has the uh, trailer hook right there. You see it? It's kind of a shrink wrapped on. But it's natural shad color or sexy shad color. Now right here I have some big hammer swim bait heads. The white, the 
chartreuse work really good in the bay. Here's the big hammers. I'll throw these on the back of a spinner bait. Now, here, let me set this up. Whatever, that's not going to set up. There we go. Okay. So, say you have a spinner bait like this. I'll probably throw a black and blue one on it just because it looks nice. This one you can either throw it. I actually wouldn't throw it on this one because it has the trailer hook. But say I'm going to go on this black and blue one here. You're just going to take it, push it in a little bit, and pull it through. And boom. Let's try the very spinner bait. Works really well. Kind of like a swim jig with a little shine or a star on it. So it's back. Now here's something I always use. It's a spare box. It's pretty much all my robo worms. I'm always into robo worms. You see me use drop shot a lot. Drop shot's kind of like my go-to encouragement box. So there's all the ones that I used, got bit, pretty much are lost their flavor, all that. I'm just taking those and throwing them in here in case I want to melt them down, make my own plastics later, which I do sometimes. Or any other circumstances. Another spare box. Here's one. Here's Cinco's. Watermelon Black Flake. Hopes of black and blue baits. Use those a lot now. Uh, Konami bait. Skinny Cinco's, pretty much. Upton baits. Good for Texas rigging. Have a grape scent to them grape kind of interesting but it works and here's my terminal tackle box I got all my hooks in here these are some new hooks I just got they're the VMC Ike approved spinnerbait hooks or not spinnerbait swimbait hooks zoom into them here they kind of have the Twist lock. Why is this not focusing? Twist lock. Uh, swim bait holder. VMC logo inside of there. One eighth ounce weight. I don't know. They were cheap. I think I need to sharpen them, but they'll do for now. Kind of a little foam cutout piece I used to hold all my Cinco hooks. Wacky rig Cinco hooks. I think this is a. Uh, one aught or two aught Kamikatsu EWG. They call it extra wide gap, but you know. Um, these are just some other uh, Kamikatsus I've had. These right here, though, these are uh, let's see, BPS XPS hooks that are laser sharpened, and it's like five dollars for a pack of like twenty something, and they work perfectly fine by me, so try them out and, I don't know, just give them a try. They work pretty well. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I'm going to go to my plastics now. Let's see. Well, before we go to the plastics, my whole box or bag of plastics in my line, Vicious. Mainly, I get Vicious because it's cheap. You go through it quick. I mean, by the rate you go through it, it kind of... Saves you money in the end. P line floral clear, cut off uh, poly or copolymer. Same thing. It's cheap. It works. I'm not looking to spend two grand on fishing tackle a week. Big pliers, little pliers. And my last box. Love this box. This box is probably my favorite box and most useful box. I take this with me everywhere. Just keep it in my pocket. It is a drop shot box. My drop shot weights. I have a lot more, but I just keep those sizes. This is all I'm really using for now. Drop shot hooks. Cheap, or small ones. These ones, expensive ones. Or gamakatsus. Kind of my mixed in ones. My small little weights. Don't really use those a lot. Except for if I'm in like standstill water that's really shallow. Uh, just more random hooks 
So there's my last box. Anything else in here you guys need to know? Nope. Alright. So that's that all is done. So I'm in a messy room right now, so I probably shouldn't be throwing all this around. Uh, we'll go through what's up on top, then we'll just dump the inside. Uh, medical pliers, lock in. Don't even mess around with the fish when it's moving around so much. Because you'll just have everything set. More pliers. You can't run out of pliers, because I always run out of them. So I just found them all, so I keep them with me. Because I know I'm going to lose them eventually. More medical pliers. Fingernail clippers. One of those things you just got to have. Now, it's going to be interesting. I've kind of got a lot of stuff in here. So, yeah, let's just take a look at that. Just, let's just do this. I still have boxes in here. Do I? No. Flip this upside down. Wow, I do still have my crankbait box in here. Alright. Yeah, let's finish off my crankbait box first. I have a lot of crankbaits. I like crankbaits. These are jerk baits. This one's a pointer. A couple little no name ones. I don't really know. These might be Rapalos, but. They're sharp, they work. This is my Rapala side. That's pretty much all my big old ones that catch fish. New ones I've never even used before. Uh, Rapala X-Wraps. Those always catch fish, no matter what you're doing. Sabile. Pearl White. This is a great action to it. It moves. More crankbaits. Crankbaits pretty much for days up in here. That's always fun. Get these out, hopefully I can get them off. Alright. XPF, or XPS, um, square bill, shallow diving crankbait. Cut a trot off that a little while ago. Norman Lures, medium diving crankbait. Custom bass paint job on it. Looks really good after spawn like now. Little crappy old Norman one. Split eye on it already. About to pop off. Typical. If you don't, if you fish crankbaits, you gotta have one of these. Just because they're old, but they work. Uh, Cordell, Big O. They're <laughs> old, but I love to throw them. Uh, I think this is another Norman custom paint job. Bass color. It's really good detail in it. Then this one, pretty much what I use at night, just because it's fun to watch. I do catch fish off of it though, but usually on top water, I just roll it really slow. I just have some of those baits where you see them and you're like, I kind of want to buy this just that fun with it. So, these are my other square bills, different color. This one, throw on top of water, roll it really slowly, and I usually catch bluegill off of it, so bluegill trout. This one's probably my favorite crankbait I have. It's KBD square bill. Just the color of it alone. It's awesome. It's right down the nose of it. It's just awesome lure. Works really well. Then another DPS medium diver. I had another one of these. I don't really know where it went though. Then another little big O. Alright, so that's the last box. Now, I'm gonna try to fit all this in and then I'll upload another video. So look for my part two for my plastics.